4D Decapitation Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I have a design that my husband said was too gross and how dare I even make such a thing. It is a decapitation design. So it looks just like a very sort of surprise lady and then you can pull off her head and you get all this blood and guts that come out and it is awesome. I love it. I hope you guys like it as much as I do and if you are creeped out by it, just skip ahead. You know, whatever. But I hope you guys like it as much as I do and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I am going to begin with an overlay of a minty green acrylic. I wanted it to be a green background because I wanted the contrast between the background and that red blood to show up so well. And that's also why I gave her a green shirt. So just choose two colors of green, one for the background and one for her, the top of her shirt, and you are good to go. This minty green background is one of my favorites anyway, and I use it all the time. So it was out and available anyway, but just apply that over the whole nail. And then after you have that, I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it is nice and strong. And I know that I say, I talk about the background color a lot and why I chose what I chose. Um, if you guys haven't really done any work with color theory, which, you know, if you if you went to nail school, if you probably didn't do any work with color theory, depending on what kind of classes you took. But if you just take a color wheel and you know that an element of the design that you want to show up is going to be purple, just trace and make a line directly across the color wheel to the other side where you'll find yellow and that's a good color to pair with it because you're going to have that nice contrast and that's going to make both colors look brighter. After I have the background color done, I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file to make sure that it is nice and smoothed out and perfect. Now I'm going to take a very small bit of my e-file and create a small indent for a magnet. And then underneath that small indent, I'm going to drill a hole right through my nail. And you want to make sure that that hole is a little bit on the large side so that you have plenty of space for that little blood column to come through. Then glue a magnet into the indent that you created right, right there. Then I'm going to be wrapping the nail very tightly with some plastic wrap. Place another magnet on top of the one in the nail, and then I'm going to use a pinching tool underneath it to hold all of that plastic wrap in place. So now taking a very nice beige color of acrylic, I'm going to start sculpting my face of my poor little decapitation victim. So just take and create a very nice rounded facial, little, little facial start. And when you're doing this, I want it to be very, very cartoony, very exaggerated. I gave my little cartoon lady this really huge eye, bright eyed look, shocked, just, you know, I want it to be silly and over the top and just kind of goofy because it's such a very dramatic design that I didn't want the whole thing just to be too morbid. So I have that first layer and I'm going to apply a second layer to make sure that my magnet is completely covered up and you can't see it. And then after I have that done and nice and smoothed out, I'm going to just add a very little bit of her neck. So you don't want the neck to go and completely cover up that hole that you created in the nail and you can see it through the plastic wrap so you know where it is. You want it to just basically rest right on top of it. So just sculpt that little bit of a neck so it sits right like that. And then after you have that done, you can go back to the top of your design and start adding some of her hair. So I decided to give her black hair and I'm going to give her some bangs and you can just design her however you like. You can make her look like yourself or somebody that you don't like or whatever you want to do here. Just have fun with it and create your, your little character. I gave her short little kind of like a bob hairstyle with waves. And whenever I do a character like this, a lot of times I do base it off of myself just because I think it's funny to have little nails that look like me. But I didn't really feel like I wanted to have one that looked like me and was being deca decapitated. So that's why I went with you know, different hair color, different hairstyle, just to switch things up a little. And the funny thing is, is when Terrell, when I showed him this nail, because after I finish them, I always do like a little round and I show people what I did around the house. And I showed him this one and he goes, "Ugh, why would you show me that? That's disgusting. Oh, that's too gross. Why would you make that? And he just had this little, this little heart attack because it was too gross. It was icky. And I think it's hilarious because something like, I don't know, I don't like haunted houses or something. I'm very, I'm a jumpy person. And he can handle all that stuff, but a little bit of blood on a nail, he just can't, he just can't deal with that at all. After you have her head and her hair done, you can peel off that plastic wrap and then, and pop the whole little head off the nail and then wrap the head in plastic wrap and place it back on the nail. I know it's a little confusing here, but this time you're trying to protect her head. 
And now that you have that done, you can take a different shade of green acrylic and sculpt her shirt. So the reason you want the head in place for when you're sculpting the shirt is because the neckline of the shirt goes right up and actually goes over the neck, her neck a little bit so that it kind of seals up that area and you can't see through it. And after I've got just the start of her shirt done, I'm going to take the tip of my brush and create a line for where it would open and then three little indents for the buttons. After that beginning has set, I'm going to take the head off and kind of pull it up and out. And then I'm going to be adding the sleeves of her, of her blouse, just like so. Really nice kind of poofy sleeves. Again, I tried to keep everything very light and funny. Was, apparently it wasn't funny enough for Terrell because it was still icky, but I didn't want anything to be too serious on this design. So then just add those little puffy sleeves that she has, and then I'm going to be adding her arms. So just fill in that little bit of the nail that's left on the corners with some more of whatever color you use for her face. Just like that. And then I'm going to be adding the collar of her shirt. And when you're adding these little details, make sure that you're cautious not to fill in where her neck will have to go into that little indent. So just keep that in mind. And then after that, I'm going to be adding a little bit of white acrylic into those little buttons so that she has the little buttonholes. And then you can start adding all of her facial features and her facial expression with white acrylic paint. So I'm going to start with her eyes. We're not adding all the details with white acrylic paint, but you're going to start her eyes with white. Really big, shocked, open-eyed expression. Try to keep them as symmetrical as you can. Go back and forth to make sure they look even from side to side. At her mouth, same thing. Open, open, and just stunned that this has happened to her. Add a couple little outlines here and there to finish things up. A couple little dots for her nostrils. Add her lips around her mouth. And then I'm going to be adding outlines around her eyes, giving her her little lash lines, upper and lower. Make the upper lash line a little bit thicker than the lower lash line. Clean them up if you need to with some more of the white paint. Add her eyebrows if you have any space above. You know, depending on what kind of a hairstyle you gave her, you might have room to add a little bit of her eyebrows too. Keep going back and forth. You can go back and forth with black and white paint and fix up her eyes as many times as you'd like, which is something that I really like to remind myself of every once in a while because sometimes these little tiny details that are painted on, it can get, it's a little bit, you know, a little bit more concerning just because this is kind of the make it or break it for a design. And if you just keep in mind that you can always fix things, it makes the whole design just go a little bit easier because you're a little less uptight about it. Add her tongue and her teeth in her mouth and then you can give her her eye color I decided to go with blue I'm trying to keep this design nice and nice and bright add her irises in both eyes and then you're gonna want to add her pupils little highlights here and there. Just keep adding details where you see that they're needed. Add some highlights on her hair. I didn't go too crazy and try to make her realistic as far as doing extra shading on her face. I kept it with block colors and made it pretty simple as far as that's concerned. On her hair, since her hair is black, I went with some gray and some white highlights. Make it look really shiny. Some black for her pupils and her eyes. Little white highlights in them. And then I'm going to take some Diluta black paint and add just a couple of outlines on her shirt. And then after that I'm going to take her head off and then I'm going to be applying some gel sealer over the background. And just over that minty green background that'll help seal your magnet in place so it doesn't pop out on you. Then apply some matte top coat over her head and over her shirt. Then cut three pieces of red thread that are whatever length you want as long as they're long enough. And then after you have those three pieces cut, you're going to glue them. So flip her head over and then glue them to the base of her neck with some nail glue. 
just like that and just let those set up until until they're secured and they're not going to fall off. Then hold them taut and apply some red gel polish over them so that it kind of goes back and forth and you don't want the strings to be completely attached to each other. So after that, after you apply it over all of them, you can kind of pull the strings apart and just work on it until you have the appearance that you're going for with your with your little bloody guts. Cure that and then apply some gel top coat over the front and the back of it and then you can slide that into the nail, trim off any extra length you have and then it's all set. I think this is such a gross but cute design. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye!